For those of you brave enough to stay tonight, I want to thank you very much for being here. My name is Karina Lopez and I'm running for San Leandro City Council. We are all here be because we care about San Leandro. I am looking to bring a fresh perspective to the City Council and ensure that you have a strong voice. I will make public safety my top priority by fighting to maintain that adequate staffing levels are maintained for our firefighters and by increasing the number of our sworn police officers to the levels that they should be. I have worked to keep the ladder truck at Station 9 from being eliminated this fiscal year and am supporting Measure Z, our public safety tax measure. I will work to increase the investment operation of our public infrastructure like roads, our parks, library, and senior center. I will find the necessary funding to ensure that our city offers the services we want and we need by promoting solutions like working with nonprofit agencies to get the senior center open, for example, and by working with state and federal agencies to secure road improvement dollars. I will utilize my business and financial experience to help promote city uh, sound economic development and create good paying jobs that we need for our community. I will ensure that we exercise fiscal responsibility and accountability throughout our budget process to ensure that residents' tax dollars are spent prudently and efficiently. We are at a crossroads in our community. We must rise to the challenge of what is in front of us and take on a new vision for our future. I'm Karina Lopez, and I believe we can do more and we can do better. Thank you. Ms. Cutter? Good evening. First, I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight, and I'd like to thank the Chamber and League of Women Voters for having us. I'm Pauline Cutter, and I'm a candidate for City Council District 5 because I have the best combination of commitment, leadership, vision, and experience to work on behalf of the residents of the city. On election day, we're going to have a choice between offering promises on one hand and delivering proven leadership on the other using rhetoric to make a point versus offering a record of accomplishment. Instead of saying I'll do or I'll try, I can say I have and I've done. This election will decide how we keep the services that are most important to you and to me and together we will work collaboratively to see them continue. These are services for our youth and seniors, keeping our parks and streets maintained and ensuring our neighborhoods are safe to enjoy. As a school board trustee, I have a proven track record of managing a public agency that serves over 8,500 students every day. We employ almost 700 people and we have an annual budget of $75 million. My opponent talks about starting a dialogue between city and schools, but I've led that dialogue for 12 years. I have a proven track record of actually building those bridges between the schools and the district on several important joint use projects that have enhanced both our schools and our community. Like many of you, I grew up in this area with parents who taught me the importance of a strong work ethic and a stronger give back ethic. I pass that on to my three children. My husband Scott and I have been a part of this community all our lives and we plan to retire here. So to us, it really hits home when I say I want San Leandro to be a vibrant place for youth and seniors, a place with a sound budget, shops and businesses that meet our needs, and a town that's safe for all of us. On the City Council, I'll continue to deliver proven leadership that you can trust. I count on your support.